What's up guys, Nika with a brand new Let's Play beginning on this channel. Usually this the opposite, but I have, I have to do something. I am going to be playing Digimon World Dusk. Now, I think only like two people actually know I'm playing this game. But, uh, yeah. Funny thing about this game, everything happens on the bottom screen. And in order for me to play this, I have to put everything on the top. So, let's begin. I'll be playing as a boy, of course. And his name shall be Nick. I'm actually happy to do this game, because I've beaten this game maybe twice. Alright. So the team we have to we got we have to pick from a pack. So see the balanced. Attack. Defense or pretty. But I'm going for attack because uh Skull Greymon is there. And he digivolves into one of my favorites. But uh this is going to primarily be my team anyway. Yes, yeah, so I like this pack. So yeah, look at the screen below me. You'll see everything. Um, skull. Let's just, just go ahead and call him like... Uh, don't think that this is dumb. D. Greymon. If I can put the Mon in the act. It's supposed to be Dark Greymon. Um, let's leave them that way. Because you can't change their nicknames, that's the bad part. So, yeah. Basically, everything happens on the bottom screen, meaning the battle happens on the bottom, so I have to switch it. If I don't switch it, then y'all will be looking at a very, like, weird screen on top instead of on bottom. So, basically, the, the beginning of this game, you go in, you're going into a tournament, which is basically our tutorial. Which, in all actuality, I think I've only beaten Dawn twice, which is ba basically the same game, but you're on the opposite team this time around. So there's like some cutscenes that are different. But that's pretty much it. But, uh, yeah. It is basically a three versus three, or three versus... F you can't choose more than three. You get three, but the enemy can get up to five. Basically, turn-based, and it actually... Well, we'll wait until we get to the battles for that. I need to definitely uh, deal with my settings, because they are very slow talkers. And, as you can see, Dark Pal Paladmon, something like that. But, yeah. If you are surprised that I chose a Digimon game, don't be. I used to watch the show up to, like, Season 3. Um, after that, it was like, eh. Who's that? The Gold Tamer. Yeah, they're called Tamers instead of uh, Digi Destined as they were in the show. Which, the Tamers sounds about right anyway. Oh, really? I didn't know how to do that. Y'all can pause, do whatever to know all this. Alrighty. Alright. So. The main screen is the battle screen, of course. The bottom screen, which is originally the top screen, tells the time, or whose turn it is next, your HP and everything else. And then it gives you the stats and stuff of the attacks. So say I use Wolf Claw, it can go up to three times. Oh jeez. Damn dude. And yes. You do start off with a uh, freaking ultimate and a well, two ultimates and a rookie class. His Digimon didn't get to attack, and I still had three more attacks after that one. Uh oh. But uh, the one thing I hope about this game is what happened once before doesn't happen to me again. This is my, on my old computer. My old computer, I was playing the game for a while, and then all of a sudden, the save data was gone. 
the regular save data and then the other save data. Well, if that happens again and I'm a little further into the game, the game's going to be cancelled because if I'm eight hours into a game, I'm not going to replay it just to get to that same point. Alright, here comes more battles. Battle Vilemon. Okay. He is actually a dark type, so using a dark move doesn't help here. Uh, let's go ahead and use a sharp fang. <laughs> Damn. Um, shoot. Lunamon only has that. Oh, well, might as well. Now, he can still take the regular amount of damage, but I prefer to use different stuff. And if you notice, the species experience, that actually helps later whenever you want to digivolve Pokemon. Or, <laughs> Pokemon. Wrong game. Uh, did you evolve Digimon into a certain type? Like, if some require 2,000 Dark. If you have 2,000 Dark experience, then you can Digivolve them into that Digimon. Now, there might be a split path where you need 1,000 Dragon experience. So, so if, if I continue to call them Pokemon, I'm sorry. But, they're, it's just so, so similar sometimes. Can I move now? Thank you, God. Alright. Here's... I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I'm talking about. Not sort. Alright. There is a place called Digivolve Root. Which gives you different roots. Now with this one, he's... This the only one. Moon, Luna, Lekismon. You need 70% friend and 33% dark. Now, how do you get that? Friendship, you just basically battle with them a lot. Dark, you need to get a lot of dark experience. Now, the guy who's probably going to be the, my main Digimon is this guy. Because he evolved... Well, not that one. But okay, where is he? Okay, maybe he doesn't need Digivolve into him. I don't know. There he is. Basically, I have to go to that one, him, and then... Black War Greymon. So basically, I'd have to digivolve him backwards into Black Agumon, digivolve him into him, and so on and so forth. And yes, sometimes when it says Spirit or something like that, sometimes you can't get that to the max level. So you have to digivolve backwards and then go back forward because your your status only goes down by like a little bit, and then you increase it again. It's very complicated. And him, he's just there. <laughs> he's just there. His final form is... Gulfmon? Oh, nice. But yeah, I, I mainly... Oh, Edamon and Metal Edamon. Edamon's pretty cool, though. And Nanimon, who cannot Digivolve. Then, of course, him. That leads to Metal Gururumon. And he doesn't Digivolve anymore. So basically, there's a lot of paths for a certain Digimon. And, and you do have MP points, which takes up every single attack, no matter what. So let's go ahead and save. If I'll actually save. There it goes. I sped it up a little bit. I didn't know it, it takes a lot of time. Okay. So basically now we get to walk around, do all kinds of stuff. And usually that happens whenever you come up to a cutscene. Your guys, like, combine together or something like that. It's kind of weird. But they do walk around with you, so it's not like they're just Digimon. Oh, I can't go that way. Alright. Well, then I'm going to go this way. Oh, my God. Go find Chief Julia. Alright. I'm going to go find Chief Julia. Peace out. Oh. If you notice, this guy does move a little quick. And no, there, this game is actually running perfectly fine for me. So that's pretty good. A snack! <laughs> Help us! Can I battle both of you at once, please? There's some battles I like to show off. Like, if there's two of them at a time. Yep, I think there's going to be two. Yep, there we go. I like the, I've always liked the music in this game, too. Um, fight. 
And some attacks can actually hit them both at once, like this. And I like to do that sometimes. Take out two or three of them at once. Oh, yeah. Lunamon is actually pretty powerful. 120. Nice. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, I got it. I had it. Yes, yeah, good Chief Julia. Alright. And notice my hair's purple. Or blue. My clothes are purple. She should take care of them easily, like one attack each. <laughs> Chaos Gallopmon. Okay, I thought it was Dark Gallopmon. Chaos. It's like if, uh. It was a. Uh, Kratos was a Digimon. Hey, dude. Bye. Darn! He got away. That was someone. But, I'll just tell y'all this. I don't get nervous with this game, actually, at all. But, you do have to save every now and then. If you do not save and you die, you have to go back to your last save point. There's no checkpoints. And here's our tournament stage. I hope y'all like the background. It was just something I put together, and I'm like, I need to use a dark color because of dusk. Because the color of this game is like dark purple. Now, see the dude in the orange? That is what... Not the dude with the orange hair. Now look at my character. It's basically the same exact dude in different colors. That is the character if you play as Dawn, the Dawn character. That is the same exact guy. But the reason why I chose Dusk is because I haven't beaten Dusk. I've beaten Dawn. So why do a Let's Play of a game I've already beaten? Let's do the other version. Now, I welcome Bud if he wants to play the other one. Go for it. He probably won't. He has a lot of shit to do right now. But this is basically what I would do if... This is basically me playing a Pokemon game on my channel, but it's not Pokemon. It's still turn-based, but it's... You have three po Digimon at a time. I almost said Pokemon again. Now they're basically watching the battle. It's like, the fuck? <laughs> Let's go to the waiting room. Is there a run button? I don't even remember. No, there's not. Now look at all the Digimon all around. Angemon. I forgot your name, dude. Sake Numon. Naumon. Something like that. Some of them have weird names I can't pronounce. You have this dude. I don't know his name. I can't pronounce it. Flarizamon. Oh, that's about right. If the game's loud for y'all, it's kind of loud for me. My headset. I don't know. They have this dude. It's like a virus. Krigarimon. I also pronounced that one right. He He's in the movie, actually. If you watch the first movie, he's there. Hey, everybody. Hey, Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna at least get through the uh, first parts of this game. It might be a little longer episode. I don't care. This game is actually pretty long if you uh, pay attention to how I play. Cause I get lost sometimes, and some of the areas I will get lost. I think the first area I got lost for like an hour, just going around find Digimon, all that kind of stuff. And yes, everything is. Uh, like Final Fantasy pop-up attacks. Not Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, where everything's like right there. But I'm glad to be doing this game. It is another good RPG that I think people should play. Or at least try out once. Alright. I'm going up here. Alright. I'm a participant. Get out of my way. What? Hey! How did you do that? Alright. I guess I have to talk to everybody. Did I? I didn't even mess with my settings at all, did I? I don't think I can yet. I can't. The setting button is gone. No! Can we save faster now? Usually you can save faster after you save the first time. Okay, good. Um, 
Tamer info? Yep, there we go. Okay. Nice uh, gallery, Tamer info. Yes, you actually had Digi Egg Galleries. And this is. There are 397 Digimon. That's a lot. An item? There's a way to change your settings, I just don't remember where it's at. Thankfully, there's a quest log that tells you how to get your quest. or do the quests and all that. You know, I need to. I need to do something. This irritates me to no end. Put them all in the middle. Now it says you can have five. You really can't. You can have three. Oh, actually, there may not be a way to change the settings. Now that goes there. That doesn't do anything. The, sh the night crow. All right, am I done talking to y'all now? Can I go? Nope. I guess I have to go outside and talk to people who are out there now. Yep, cutscene. You see so many Digimon just standing around, it's not even funny anymore. They're saluting. No. Chief Glare. Glare? Really, dude? Your name is Glare? Dum bum. He's an impressive, impressive tamer. Yeah. Wouldn't you also? Yes, and the character's name is Ko. And I believe in Dusk, the opposite character, or Dodd, the opposite character doesn't have that much of a role. And yes, you skip to the final fight. Because in Dawn, you actually have to fight the tournament. In this one, you do not. You fight the final fight. Which is kind of funny to me, but whatever. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I've been through this. I know what I'm doing! Alright, are you on my way now? It's so weird how that happens. Yep. Let's do it. Teleporter! <laughs> you have... T <laughs> you had Demimon down there rooting for me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you had to hold down the A button in order for us to go faster. Hear the gong here in a second. I don't know how I'm a champion. I didn't fight anybody. He like raises his hand here. Bong. Ding. All right. So he has Angemon, Rise Greymon, and Cornamon. Corn. Cor. Cornamon. Some of that. All right. So I'm gonna basically do like I did before. Multi attacks. It hits everyone. The battles are not that difficult if you use multi attacks. Oh, I never did use a Lunamon then. See, they're almost down because I'm using multi attacks. Haha! <laughs> he died of poison. Oh, I didn't notice they were all poison. Try revolver! Ow. Damn. Alright, let's see what Lunamon has. No multi attacks, but it does have HP drain attack. Let's go ahead and steal your HP. 24! Yes, the rookie wants to do no damage right now. Something happens in a few in a few minutes that they become your best. Oh. Chronomon. Okay. Look at how much that costs. Oh, because it's three attacks. Okay. And yes, there are times that I will run out of MP. A lot of times. So they're basically just going to sit there and defend. Now I have a lot more holy and dragon type XP. Oh yeah! I did it! When <laughs> He's like, damn it! <laughs> I lost! 
dude here and here. You lost because I'm the best! Oh, yeah. Now for more cutscenes that are really unnecessary at this point. I can you guys that I could really do. And I'm here. Sup, Chaos Gallopmon? I actually got Chaos Gallopmon before, but this was after I beat the game. There's a lot of Digimon I got after I beat the game. And I'm like, damn, I wish I could just replay the game. With the same dudes? You can't. If you could, I would <laughs> I would do a let's play of that. Add that to the let's play. Just replay the game with the most powerful Digimon possible. Bye. <laughs> Hey, we know him. Oh, shit. I meant to save. How do y'all let him in the first place? That's the only teleporter to get in. Somehow he got in first. Ooh, the music has changed. It's Ganon. Pew. How do you get through? That's how. Teleported. He can teleport himself. Yes, these are rival places, but they don't, like, hate each other. Yet. Hey, what's up? The mu- I, I swear the music in this game is great. If you- Please agree with me. Yay, we won. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. They salute every at the end of every conversation. I guess you're a part of a, like a military or some shit. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, he did. We saw him! Like, not even two minutes ago, dude. Digi Coliseum. See if you notice, Chaos Gallopmon's whole name won't fit. A lot of names won't fit. I don't think you can actually rename your Digimon either. Unless there's a special way to do it. Oh, you gave me a gift? Nice. Alright, now I need to save. And yes, I plan on doing save states too to save, just extra precautions. You have to step on him and press A, by the way. It's not instant. Now, I might get lost leaving and going to this place because it is opposite what I'm used to. I'm used to my dude's home being like right here. But next one, you have to go all the way to the other side. Let's see, who are our guardians? Rook Chessmon. And BP Chessmon. Oh, Bishop. Hey, Emmon. Hey, this is our gate! I don't know his voice, actually. I'm just... Hey, everybody! Hey, Nick! like how the Digimon just disappear. I don't know how they do it. Did I get a gift? Sure! I don't know where it's at! It's just... There, I guess. I skip most of the dialogue, because... Just right here, it's just like, meh. Alright. I can raise Digimon just fine. But if you ask me to play the original Digimon World, which is for the PlayStation, I, I'm terrible. When I was first played it, I kept getting a Numamon. I tried to get a, ch a decent champion, and I got him. And then when I played it, I don't know, a year or two ago... I got a uh, Greymon who ultimately died. And when a Digimon dies, you go back to the start and you get an egg. Yeah, I still don't get that little spot yet. Hey! It's Koala! It's Koala. Pacomon? Pac Pacomon? I don't know how to pronounce that. 
Pascomon. Or Fascomon. This is that's not an S, it looks like a G. At least in his name spot above the dialogue. Hey Navi Pokemon. Yay, I got a Farm Island card! Which you get that no matter which game you play. Thanks. And no, you can't get a Chronomon in this game. I don't think you can. Oh, wait. There might be an area that has it. Never mind. I think I got a Lunamon in Dawn, so. Alright. I get it. I'm gonna sleep. Damn it, he made me yours too. <sighs> yep. Like I said, this might be a longer episode because there's something else I want to do first. Where? 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 Where am I? Why am I in a treehouse? Where are the walls? Actually, I don't know if I'll actually do that part yet. I don't remember how long it is. Nah, fuck it. The first episode. Let's do it. I need. <laughs> uh, I need to remember definitely to flip everything back for Soul Silver. <laughs> That'd be awkward. The tops, the bottom screen being, or the big screen being the inventory, and the bottom screen being where everything's happening. Metal Etamon. Etamon does come back in the anime too, after even after he's defeated, and they they rumor that it's the same dude, the same Etamon, and not a different one. Ah! Why are they always talking about me? Cherubimon. Golmon. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. The alarms never went off before. Um. Hi. Who are you? <laughs> Holy shit. He knocked out the humans and turned the Digimon back into eggs. Funny how those two, one of those could probably knock him out by himself, and somehow they still don't do it. It's basically a virus in the Digiverse. Yes, and they're both the same exact egg because they come from the same Pokemon, or Digimon. Damn it! I'm gonna keep doing that until I get it right. Digimon. Pokemon are an eggs too. Hey, I'm awake. What's up? Nick, wake up, Nick! Yeah, it was a virus. No! My Digimon, st my Digimon's, my Digimon turned back into a uh, rookies, which Lunamon's not affected because there's already a one of those. Wait, he's a rookie? Yeah, and see, the names stay the same. I have to choose, I'm probably going to choose a different Digipath for him. Unless... Oh no, I can't even look. Damn it. I don't remember. Damn. Damn. I've, I've, sh I should, I should have kept uh, what I was doing. I think it was still him. I think it was. I don't know. But I know with him where I need to go. I remember that part. See, Lunamon stays at level 20. Everyone else we went down. So Lunamon's gonna be the strongest of the team now. Okay, we need to save. Now I could end it here in the next episode. We do with this, deal with this dude. But I think it's only like a few minutes long. Does that farm thing show up now? No. 
Alright, let's go. The Dark Plaza. Once that screen pops up means you're gonna have one more locations where you can teleport to. Oh no, everyone's an egg! There's only one Digimon that's not affected by this, and try and guess who it is. But what the fuck? Okay, another one. How are you not affected, dude? Okay, another one. I didn't realize he didn't turn into one. Chaos Gallopmon. He's in like an mega mega form or some shit. It's like a he's a he's a combination of two megas. Sup bitch! I'm here. Now we have to battle him. God, he's creepy a little bit. I'm trying to cause paralysis, which I probably won't even worry. Like I said, Lunamon will be our strongest ally. Call bats. Ugh. Do I have any items? I do. Okay. Two. That's helpful. Um. Dark Crusher. Yeah, Lunamon's gonna be the only one that can do any kind of damage for now. And notice, my moves have also gone away too, which kind of sucks. And yes, you do have some Digimon, or not some. All Digimon have one attack that's specific to them. Like, Dark Agumon. I think they call him Black Agumon. I like calling him Dark. Oh, God. I'm trying to par paralyze him. I'm trying to paralyze him. God. I can't talk this morning. I've been talking for 30 some minutes, and all of a sudden I can't talk. Oh, crap. Okay, during his turn, I'm going to try and save him. Try and save him. It shows me a list on who's next. Pepper Bread. And I might get a regular argument. Who? Who knows? Because, like I said, the other dude I don't really care much about, the first two I do. Okay. Does it show whose turn it is? Okay. It shows whose turn it is on the top screen. All right. Got to heal. And trust me, I'm going to farm those. I'm going to farm for money like crazy in this game. Um, see if I can try and poison them since paralyzing them doesn't work. I don't think you can poison them either because it's a boss. Da Crusher. One. One point of damage. He doesn't take a lot of damage in the first parts. Later down the line... Oh, nice, Dark Agumon. Dark, or as he's known on this, Dark Greymon. And I'm still paralyzed. It only goes away during the turn it wants to. Call Cat and call Bat. I guess go four different times. I might as well just start going with the strongest attacks. See, it says 29, but it does like 100 and something. Don't mi mind, don't even look at that. That doesn't really matter. It shows how strong it is. It matters on how strong your Digimon is. Now I said it right, yay. I think he's dead after this one. Right? Yep. You get a lot of, like, random XP for that. Triple level up! Or double level up for something. And then it shows your your stats going up, and it says you learned a skill. The skills are mainly attacks, clearly. Now, they all learn different skills at different times. So, be mindful. I try and go for the multi-attacks more than anything else over the single attacks. Now, if there's a single attack that does three hits or two hits or something, I'll use that. Stuff that has like three squares worth of attacks or two squares worth of attacks, I'll definitely use over anything else. Because those are most helpful in battles where you're facing more than one. So, definitely, if you ever play this game, definitely go for that. Now we're on the computer. That's a big-ass computer, though. Jesus. That's bigger than my computer. My computer's big. No, it's not. It's like... This big? 
So it's it's wider than my torso and bigger than my face, of course. I think uh, what is it? 23 inch screen? Plenty of watching room because my my laptop's about as big as my last computer screen was, and it's not that big. Notice how uh, some of the Digimon want to come out of their eggs now. We don't know who the enemy is yet. The fires program has caused serious damage. The city system's access zone is not functional. Not functioning. Dark E area, dark S area, and dark N area can't be accessed and communication is cut off. In addition, Central Bridge is blocked from traffic, shine, and dark... Fuck it, I stopped reading it. I started getting tongue times like, nope, done. Like if you go to the sunken tunnel, I want you to search any leads about the enemy. I don't think destroying city is their only objective. Uh, hey. We can help, right, everyone? Do you have Digimon? If you don't, fuck you. <laughs> Denied. They're all like the size of kids, at least in the uh, this part. In the other uh, part, yeah. What the hell was happening with his head? I like how everything's been restored. Go investigate. Do you go to the sunken tunnel? Huh. <sighs> Alright, guys. Thank you all for watching the beginning episode of Digimon World Dusk. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you'll enjoy it further with me as we continue on the journey to the sunken tunnel and to find out about this new brand new enemy. So thank you for watching. See you later.